Gareth Ainsworth is out as QPR manager. Here is my reaction. QPR made the call following their defeat against leaders Leicester with a very straightforward results this season haven't gone the way we all wanted and we feel a change is necessary in their statement. Those results have seen QPR lose 10 of their first 14 games this season. They're currently six points a drift of safety, projecting just 26 points. This is one of those situations where it's probably fair to share the blame. On the one hand, clearly Ainsworth hasn't been able to produce much in the way of winning football, but to be fair to him, that has all been with a pretty chaotic backdrop at QPR. Rangers went from Mark Warburton to McBeal to Neil Critchley to Gareth Ainsworth during last season with some Fairly reasonable questions being asked about what those four all had in common style-wise to go from one to the other to the other to the other. To move so quickly from a squad built for possession under Mark Warburton and nine months and three managers later to be turning to Gareth Ainsworth didn't really ever seem to be the most joined up of thinking. Ainsworth, the manager, tends to bring up two reactions. The first will be some kind of tedious comment about his appearance and, well, I do think that football supporters' inability to cope with somebody who dares to grow their hair is pretty low red. And Ainsworth did lean into the image and make it part of his brand. The second was what I'll call the underdog football that he played at Wickham, where he will go down as a legend for his 10-year run there and taking them up to the championship. It was attritional, territorial and direct. Some people have an issue with it. Not me, but it didn't seem to equip him with the tools to get QPR going up in the championship. From the word go, it's been a struggle and last season's survival for Rangers, frankly, owed more to the points that they accumulated way before Ainsworth arrived, with QPR in relegation form from early October onwards. Those people that told me Ainsworth was done the very moment that the footage of the very David Brenty team building hacker was released into the world. Well, maybe they had a point. To be fair to Ainsworth, QPR have hardly been aggressive, have they, in the transfer market in terms of assisting their manager. Dicky and Dieng were sold in the summer. Smattering of experience was added with Begovic, Kolbach and Cook all coming in, but Rangers didn't spend a great deal. FFP was the hot topic at the recent fans forum. The last set of accounts shows a £24.7 million loss. In fact, the last 10 years all show losses. And if smoke eventually leads to fire, then depending on what happened in the last account the year, there could be some issues there down the line. This is the bit in these sacking videos where empathy meets reality. Gareth Ainsworth left the club where he was a legend to join one he was emotionally attached as an ex-player. He sacrificed and he gambled and he's lost big time. And for that, I do have sympathy for him. The reality is he's not done a good job. Yes, there's a bit of chaos and issues at the club, but could he have got more than 19 points in 27 games with the group of players there? Surely. QPR's statement also says, we understand the importance of appointing a new head coach quickly and an announcement on this will follow in the coming days. That sounds pretty definitive and forgive me for reading too much into what are often pretty blandly written communications, but does this mean that Ainsworth's future replacement is currently out of work now and Rangers know that that person wants to come and do the job at Loftus Road. Rowett, Eustace, Warnock have all recently left championship jobs and a 30 second scroll on Twitter this morning puts Warnock and Sabri Lamushi as candidates. The truth is that whoever comes in has a hell of a job in the short term to get those 45 plus points that may well mean survival in the championship. In the long term, QPR aren't really going to be able to make too much progress though until they find a far more viable ownership model for a manager to work under. There we go. That is my take on Gareth Ainsworth out of QPR. Get in the comments 
and let me know who could and should be the next Rangers boss and where indeed do you think Gareth Ainsworth might pop up next. Usual request here to try and exercise a little bit of class and restraint. Yes, there's crap football and results, but it is a fellow human being with hopes and dreams, just like the rest of us who just got a very bad bit of career news. You can stick with the channel here. This might be an interesting one to look back on. So click up there to see my pre-season manager rankings. That is now five changes already from the 24 names we discussed back in July.